Hello all, Shoestring here. I am about to rewire my battery bank. So let's start out at the very basics. I have three 200, let me show you, amp hour Power Queen batteries. 12 volt, 200 amp hours. And by the way, these are wonderful, wonderful batteries. Yes, I would recommend them. And before anyone starts, no. Power Queen did not send these batteries to me. Power Queen doesn't send me anything. In fact, with my little channel, Power Queen probably doesn't even know I exist. But you guys do, and I appreciate everyone coming out and watching my channel. So, if you like these videos, please uh, like and subscribe. And the more you like these, the more they'll go out there and other people will see it. So, advertisement over. Let's jump back in. I have three of these Power Queen batteries. I'm going to get four but I can't afford a fourth one right now, so I have to deal with three, and I'll change it again when I get a fourth one. Okay, so I have three Power Queen batteries, 200 amp hours, and as you can see, the wires are just, cables are just too long. You can see that? Yeah, see? Just way too long. They need to be shorter. So what I did is I measured from one side, right, to the next, and it's about nine and a half inches. So, I decided I was going to make it about ten, because I want a little wiggle room. I want the batteries as close together as possible, but I still want to be able to maneuver them just a little. So, as you can see from the, some of these cables you're looking at, I made these. And, uh, probably not the best job in the world, but I do. So, I've come over here. As you can see, in process, making some, some already made. And that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be taking these cables, putting them on the Power Queens, and then moving all the batteries from here. You have to, like I said, excuse the dirt and, and stuff you see because this is a workspace. And then I'm going to put them right here. All four batteries are going to be able to fit right there. So, once I replace the cables here, all three batteries together, one, two, three, just like that, then I'm going to replace the cables going to the inverter. As you can see, I've wired and worked on them too. But I'm going to replace these. I actually bought two gauge right there wire for the inverter. So, what's going to happen? I'm going to take these batteries, I'm going to move them over here, rewire them, and then I'm going to remove these cables from the inverter, put these new ones on, and move them over to my batteries. But first things first, the first thing I'm going to do is one at a time disconnect the batteries and then I'm going to set them down here on the ground and charge each one up individually, unhooked. Probably start with that third one right there down by itself. So that's what I'm going to do first. I'm going to disconnect it and start charging it up. Once I get it charged up, then I'll put it up here to begin the bank. And I'll let you guys walk with me as we do it. Okay? So... What that is going to do is though, it's going to put my solar out of operation for a while. And that's too bad, but I do need to do it. Because we really need to get these wires upgraded. The ones that are here are 4 gauge and they're just too small for how much power I pull. Sometimes you can feel them getting hot. Don't like that. It's going to damage something. I don't want to damage anything. So, we're updating the cable going from the inverter to the batteries. I made these, got, well, when I bought these, I got them a little long because they're going to have to work with the fourth battery when I, whenever I get it. And I'm going to connect one battery, one cable to the inverter here, then the other one all the way on the third battery on the black. So they'll be split up nice and easy so when it discharges from the battery, it'll discharge all of it. So, that's what we're going to do first. We're going to disconnect this bottom battery, set it down, and start charging it. 
Okay, first battery disconnected. Oh, there it is. So I have my first 200 amp hour Power Queen battery hooked up to my, oh my, Power Queen battery charger. And I'm going to charge this up individually. I'm going to do that for each one. So I'm going to leave it here overnight. And then I'll come in in the morning and find the next one, if assuming this is charged and do the same process all over again. So, my power has went from six, um, yeah, 600 amp hours now down to 400 because I've got only two batteries here and not three anymore. Alright, so we'll let it do its magic and we will come by in the morning and take a look and see how we're doing. And I will see you guys then. Stay along with me now. All right, folks, that didn't take all night. In fact, when I came out and checked a couple hours later, the battery was all charged. So I have connected the second battery to it. Remember, we're charging each one of these individually. I removed it from here. I didn't want to totally connect it from the charge, from the, uh, charge controller just yet. So I did unhook the batteries. I'm leaving this neutral one alone because it doesn't matter. But the red, you always have to be careful with the charged ones. So even though I'm still leaving this cable in place at the moment, I have put electrical tape on it to make sure it doesn't spark or jump at anything. So they're just the neutral sitting here just fine. And the red one where the actual charge is taped up. And they're all connected really well. So, instead of 600 amp hours, I am down to 200 amp hours. And hopefully in the morning, this one will also be charged and we can actually start putting it all together. All right, it is now the next morning. <laughs> and both these batteries are fully charged. Remember, we're going to do that individually, and then we're going to charge them all together because we want to make sure they're all up to the maximum voltage. So next, we're going to have to take this, what I call, anchor battery off. It's also, as you can see, connected to the charge controller. Now, we don't want to damage anything. So what we're going to do is we're going to go outside and we're going to get the disconnect. And we are going to disconnect the power first from the solar panels to the charge controller, which is what this is for. So, right, so you can see right there, right? Off. Now, there's no power going from the solar panels to the charge controller. None. Next, what we're going to do... Turn the inverter off. Off. Okay, so now let's all hope, best we can, that the power will not go out. Because if the power goes out, well, we've got nothing. Okay, so next we are going to remove the uh, cables from our last anchor battery. And we are going to individually charge it. Just like we did the other ones. Now we got this one off. Once we do this one off, by the way, it will uh, absolutely have no power to charge controller. When you do these, always try to do the charge controller first. Connect it to the battery first so it can read what's the voltage, voltage if it's 12 volt, if it's 24 volt, whatever it's going to be. All right, they are off. All right, it is now charging. So all three are set in the same place. I'll readjust these boards while we're waiting for that to charge. And I will start taking these cables off, which won't be so difficult. Hopefully you can see them. Yeah, they're pretty worn. I made these two. So, uh... I didn't make the cables. I should stop saying that. So, if anyone thinks I made cables, you're wrong. I 
did the connections. And we're changing this four gauge cable to a two gauge cable. And that's what we're gonna work on next. All right, a quick safety tip. When you're putting these new ones on, make sure they're very, 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 did I say that enough times, tight. Because if you don't and the inverter starts pulling a lot of power, it could shake these. If these shake, it could disrupt the power going to the battery. And that will cause smoking and will kill a battery. Ask me how I know, because I did it. And I destroyed a battery that way. So this time, each one of these, very, very careful. The red is on. Doesn't matter which one, because there's no power going into the inverter right now. Make sure these connections are very, very tight. Okay, so both of those are now in place. Red to red. Black to black. And my ground, see the ground right here? It's green. The ground stays in place. Make sure if you have a system like this, it's grounded. Very, very important. So what's next that we've done this part? We wait for the batteries to charge. Then all three will be charged. I'll make sure the platform's strong enough to handle everything, all the weight. And that includes when I get all four. And then I'm going to hook them together and charge them up again all together as a unit. And we'll walk through there when we get to that point. Okay, so while we're waiting on that to charge, inline fuses, you may ask. Yes, the red cable, right, going from the inverter to the battery is going to have right there inline fuse. Don't have it set up yet because I don't know how long this is going to be. How long I'm going to need the cable to be just yet. I know it's too long, but if you have it too short, you're just lost. <laughs> if you have it too long, well, then you can cut it down a little bit. So let's do too long first. And then once we see how all that works, we can put the in inline fuse in. Okay, all three batteries are now charged. Now remember with lithium batteries, once you charge it, which I charged all these to around 14.5, 14.6, then you have to let them sit for just a little bit. The reason is the voltage will drop. All these lithium batteries, actually all batteries, the uh, voltage will drop. So these Power Queens drops to about, oh, I don't know, 13.6, 13.8, right in there. And uh, how long it's been sitting? I let them sit for a little bit, hour or two maybe, just to make sure I get all of them down to the correct level. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start connecting the negatives first from the inverter. And one wire cable from one battery to the next. And we'll do that. Now when I'm doing the center one, it's a little different because it takes three. It's getting one cable from the charge controller, right there, and then one to connect each saw each of the batteries. Is put the charge controller well, cables on this one battery because discharging is more important than getting the electricity from the solar panel in because that will distribute pretty well. So that's what I'm doing here. So you can see that there's three on this one. And as you can see, my charge controller is coming to life. It says 13.8, and that is a good reading for these batteries. Okay, they're all in. Everything's been set up, red to red, and make sure they are right and black to black. These inverter cables are too long, I know that, but I'm going to be readjusting when I get my final battery in, whenever that is. It'll be another Power Queen, because I really like these Power Queens. And one more time, no, Power Queen did not send me any. Power Queen did not buy these, I bought these. Which is why I don't have four and all the other nice stuff I'd like. All right, so let's do a test. Let's put the inverter on. Inverter is on, excellent. That's working. And we'll try to run something small. Ooh, let's do. Let's go ahead and put our solar panels back into operation. 
Remember, we turn them off for safety. So we're going to come out here, just reverse of what we did. Throw our power, and it's on. Now, unfortunately, it is a very cloudy, not very nice day today. So, um... All right, so solar panels are getting something. 13.9 it says now. Wish I could make this focus a little better. Can't seem to be able to. 13.9, hopefully you see that. And then I'm going to took the charge the uh, charger up and charge everything up again as a group. That's right, as a group. Shouldn't take too long. And we should be in business. All that's left is the cleanup. All right. So if you like these, please like and subscribe. Tell your friends. And uh, when I get my next battery and we hook it up and we put in our inline, go right around here somewhere, inline fuse and get our battery right over here. Put everything up nice and neat. And we should be running good. Or is it running well? Well, we'll say running good. We don't care. Okay, so uh, any questions, put them down in the comments. Uh, if you just like the video, just say, hey, I like the video and click like. Okay, shoestring out.